Uh, let's get over to our Brittany Jeffer. She's been covering the winter storm warnings and winter advisories in effect for a large portion of the state through Thursday. And again, as Anthony and Caroline mentioned, we're not experiencing any ice here in Houston. Brittany, you're live in spring, though, where residents say they're just dealing with a messy rainy day, right? Yeah, absolutely right. We started the day in Waller County. We're now here in spring and we've really just seen the same thing all morning long. That rain, the drizzle on and off all throughout the morning and it is very cold out here. But as you reference those people, Houstonians are saying that for them, this has primarily been very inconvenient. Of course, we know that that's not the case throughout much of the state. We got like a here in spring. Up in Brenham, Dallas, it's a different story, but we're safe. We got lucky. We got we got lucky this time, and like I said, just we just I just watch the news and just take it easy and slow on the road. And if you can stay home, stay home. But if not, just get on the road and be safe. Now, as you heard Caroline reference, parts of North Harris County received a substantial amount of rain during last week's storm. And while people who live nearby tell me they have been keeping an eye on the road and the creek conditions near Cypress Creek, they say they were grateful that we were spared from that wintry mess that's been impacting a large portion of the state. We know that's not the case in northern and central Texas, where those winter storm warnings are in effect, uh, some through Thursday. Now, numerous ice-related accidents have been reported along the roadways along with three deaths. Now locally I spoke with the director of the Harris County Flood Control District and Jeff Lidner says if you do have plans to travel in that direction he says you really should make other arrangements. So even though we're, we're perfectly fine here in, in most of Southeast Texas in the Houston area, if you're traveling to Central Texas, if you're traveling to North Texas, is really ill-advised today and even into tonight and, and really for the first part of tomorrow until the temperatures warm up above freezing and they can melt some of that ice on the roadways. And so uh, very dangerous travel uh, conditions in the central, northern, and northwestern part of the state. But again, here locally, we are not seeing that. It's very cold out here, and the rain uh, has created some wet roads out there, but none of the ice that they are seeing in northern and central areas. We do want to mention, though, that Governor Greg Abbott says about 1,600 roads throughout the state have been impacted, and Texas has used 1.3 million gallons of brine and other materials in order to try to treat it. Live in spring, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.